I don't really love doing voiceovers, but I think this ride deserves one to help set context. First, there is no shredding in this video. A bit of wailing and gnashing of teeth, but definitely no shredding. If you're looking for shredding, move on. I started mountain biking again last late summer after, a, I guess, 20 plus years away from it. My riding so far has been mostly limited to a couple of nice parks in my hometown of Kentucky. These parks are majority green XC trails with a couple of blue flow and jump lines, and it's all pretty mild. I do just fine on these trails on any bike, but I've ridden them dozens and dozens of times. So to say I was unprepared for V-Hollow is an understatement. As insurance, I brought my EMTB for this ride thinking, how hard could it be? I'll be on an electric mountain bike. Plus, I'll just stick to the greens. Well, I was not accounting for the steepness of the terrain. It had been a long time since I'd ridden steep switchbacks back in Colorado, and I wasn't great at them back then. Somehow I didn't magically get better in the intervening years, so there was some suffering. In retrospect, I didn't give myself sufficient time and arguably also wasted time getting a bit turned around on the trails. Once I finally had a good downhill run on White Lightning, it was basically time to go. That was probably a blessing in disguise because it was quite hot and humid that day, as if summer had come overnight. And I was in a full face helmet because I love falling off my bike a lot. So I spent a lot of time sweating into my eyes and mouth. Just listen for the spinning and the whining. Okay, that may have sounded like a bunch of excuses, but it's really just to set the stage for my ride on this day. As always, everything's on me. I know that I'm a very basic rider, so consider this the story of a basic rider's first time at V-Hollow. Oh, and while it may not sound like it sometimes, I actually had a huge blast and I can't wait to go back. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Tough. Oh shit, man. Gotta attack this harder. That is a very steep green. Dang. Of course, I didn't gear down in time either, so that was stupid. That's amazing. The guy down at the bike shop said their greens are more like blues. So I agree with him. Yeah, I've seen this in videos. This is cool. Very cool. Until sweat runs down into my eyes. So, let me fix that. It's really hot out already. Do not enter. So yeah, I should have had my seat down. There's another one up there. Yeah. 
I'm too much of a puss for these. Yes, I suck. It's okay. New trail. I don't have time to session this stuff and get better at it. This is pretty damn awesome though, I gotta say. I mean, my skills notwithstanding. Okay. Not really sure what I just did. I know I'm on the wrong side of this trail because he said <clears throat> I would want it on the, the right side <clears throat> if I'm in the west side of the system. So I think I'll have to cross the creek again. Uh, it's not signed as well as I'd hope it would be. Yes, I've done this. Definitely done this route. All right, this is where I nearly took that little tree down. Surprise rock off to the right. And here's that freaking hill again. Okay. Hike a bike. So I just pushed the bike up that hill. Okay, I've uh, reviewed the maps and turned on trail forks. And I'm heading back up Tennessee, Tennessee Trot. And this is supposedly the access, according to uh, all trails. Now I'm going to shut up and ride this. It's got a little bit of tech here and there. So, okay. So this is Tennessee Trot. This is my second round. I'm going the opposite direction of what I was trying before. The guy at the store said, I want to get on the side that keeps the creek down there on the right. I just got started the wrong direction. This is one of those things where you'd like to uh, be able to do trail over the course of a couple of days. All right. Okay. Uh, really? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't know about that. I didn't even think this was trail. <laughs> okay. I'm sure I could have made that. I just didn't know it was a thing. Maybe I'll get another chance. At this point, I'm not here for that long. I just want to, you know, I just want to see the place. It's easier coming the other way. <laughs> Downhill. I am damn glad I got an e-bike today. Even if I'm still sucking on it. So what's this? Tennessee truck continues. Okay, continuing on saddle up. I'm having trouble with the switchbacks. I just watched a couple of guys do them like they were flat. I mean, just, it's amazing. Just a little bit of technique is all it's needed. I 
have this. I know it. <laughs> Maybe I just need to be more patient. get onto that outside wall and it just feels funny. God. It's like I'm a beginner sometimes. Whew. I was so close! Rock took my front wheel. So close. So freaking close. Hey gents. Doing? I'm doing alright. Super freaking hot. I have an e-bike and I'm still sweating my ass off. Yeah. So that's juice. Is this white lightning? That's intense. Hmm. Phew. Give me a chance to wipe the fucking sweat out of my mouth. This is jumpy-licious, but I'm, uh, you know, just kind of intimidated by the steepness. I mean, these, <laughs> these, uh, berms are crazy. I'm sure once I did it a few times, I'd be just fine. Uh, same thing with the jumps, it's just that you don't know what's coming next. Definitely not a Veterans Park Green. Phew. <laughs> not in the least.
Okay. Just ride out from here. Yeah, these flat turns, man. So just a bit ago, I transferred over to Tennessee Trot, which is the green loop that connects stuff here. And man, these, I know I'm being a puss, but I don't really care. Got a little techie bit down there. Hello. <laughs> I think I did that better earlier. Phew. 